Okay, what's good, my Guna, my Guna, it's my Guna babies. Hold on, let me demask real quick. It's freezing out here, but you gotta see me, see me for this one. Oh, yes, sir. I'm in the lovely Vicky Park. You know I me? Mean? It's bright out here, but it's freezing out here. But um, <laughs> I wanted to do a video real quick. I don't have no time to do it at home, so I thought, let me just bang it out when I'm outside, you know what I'm saying? The Guna on the sofa. Whatever the camera can see, we can see. Mr. D.T. Wagwan, bruv. The downfall. Ah, uh, it was ugly, wasn't it? It was ugly. Hold on a minute. Let me get a little sip, sip. Ah, it's been ugly, boy. Nah, see me? I read the Sun newspaper, but I always take it with a pinch of salt. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take it with a pinch of salt because it's the meat there, isn't it? Really, just like you gotta take fan, the fan channels with a pinch of salt because, boy. A lot of them just talk actually, me hold that. A lot of them just talk off emotion, they're not making no sense. But a couple things I wanna say is, the reason why I'm doing this is cause one of my first videos on my channel, I was shouting out um, some fan channels. Like I was shouting out Expression, shouting out Ranch, shouting out um, Troops, shouting out DT. You know what I'm saying? Cause if it weren't for them, I would have started mine, really. You know what I'm saying? Not really. What's the point? Not going to be heard, but it seems like they get heard. So why not if what's your opinion? You know what I mean? And with that being said, did that, started it. But my first video was shouting them out. So now I'm going to have to remove DT from that. Obviously, I can't edit the video or nothing. I'm just saying it now. I have to remove DT from that, bruv. Levels. Levels, man. Just been embarrassing yourself. Guna on the sofa, the pride of North London. And I'm saying, from the rant situation, you know what I'm saying? I know that your son wanted to step up, you can't really tell no one nothing, especially when testosterone's involved. You can't tell no one nothing when their family's being insulted or what have you, but you let your baby step in, weren't feeling that, get me? I supported him, get me? I knew Ransom's gonna win, because get me, he's fitter, he does his boxing, he's, that he's a PT bruv, you know what I'm saying? He's from the bits, you understand? It's different levels. And you've got that kind of anger in you. Man's name's Rance for a reason, you get me? But um, that aside, what I read in the paper, uh, I put up a post, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I hope this is the sun chatting fart, you know what I'm saying? I hope this is all ball. Within seconds, someone went, nah man, it's true. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck it hell. So then I went to read the article in full, you know, I don't have time, I just quickly breeze through. I was like, oh my days, hopefully it's just lies. Nope. He had a 12 month sentence on his head and they tripled that boy. They gave him three. Three behind. You understand? Crazy. But then you read about what it's for. I, don't, I never want to say that someone should be in jail, someone's freedom should be taken away. You know what I'm saying? It's not my power to do so. And with your voice, you can actually influence others to think something and then have someone actually serve time for something they didn't do or just an extended time you know what i'm saying a time that don't fit the crime but jesus christ bro from what i'm hearing what i saw ridiculous what he did and if you're watching this when you get out ridiculous what you did is embarrassing bro you know what i'm saying especially with the x thing the x thing is embarrassing so one that you stalked her tracked her phone why, why man, let that go man. You know what I'm saying? I know people are hurt and I know that you probably still want your woman back and it's the mother of your children and all that, but you gotta let that go. From when she don't want you no more, you have to let that go. You understand? And you're a popular dude, you get me? You let it be known that you're a big time looting DJ. Trying to tell me that there ain't no girls hanging around the, the DJ set, please bruv. You get me? I've been to raves, I know DJs. You know what I mean? They can get it when they want it really, you know what I'm saying? You don't even have to be the player player type you can just be a dj and they will hover around so unless you were chatting far about that which i've seen comments of people saying 
you weren't no big time, you know what I'm saying, club owners guy and that you weren't all that, you know what I'm saying? But of course when someone's down people come out and kick you. You know what I mean? That's how it go in this life. Real women love gooners. But the stalking, can't respect that. Following her to the hotel, can't respect that. Rolling up in there, in the room, can't respect that. Taking pictures of her, not decent, can't respect that. Trying to fight, man, definitely don't respect that. You know what I mean? That's 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 one of the, that's one of the big ones on the list. You don't fight man over girl. You know what I mean? That's stupid, bro. It don't matter who she is. You don't fight the guy. The guy ain't got no loyalty to you. You know what I'm saying? He don't care about you, even if it was your woman. He don't care about you. The one that's doing you wrong is the woman. But she wasn't even doing doing you wrong because she was your ex. You understand? So that's just embarrassing. But then you try and drag her to the car. Tell her that her baby, not her baby, but her child's in the car, so half drag, she half go in because she, her child's in the car, so she wants to go get there, realizes there's no child in the car, you know what I'm saying? I hear a bystander had to step in, and then she had to get away that way. All that is all ugly, bruv, all ugly, you know what I'm saying? Unless, the only, the only way I can defend anyone putting their hands on a woman if she is putting her hands on you. And I swear down, you know what I'm saying? And I got this rule from my mother. Anyone put their hand on you, you can lay them down. Now, I always have this, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's light rules, you know what I'm saying? There's light rules, light loopholes to that, to that rule, should I say? There's loopholes to that rule, you know what I'm saying? When you know, when you know, the person, say it's just like a one slap, you know what I'm saying? A one slap, you might have to take it depending on the situation. Like, if you're with someone, you know what I mean? Like if I'm with my brethren, if I was with my brethren now and shit went left, other people came and that guy lost his life. I'll buck up to the funeral and the mum slapped me because she's like, how come you're here and my son ain't here? Or why didn't you do nothing? You take that, you know what I'm saying? You don't fight the mum, you know what I'm saying, of your friend. And that kind of thing there. You cheat on your woman, she finds out, she gives you two, two slap, you take it because you did wrong, you know what I mean? But there's difference, you know what I'm saying? Like if that lady over there wanted to come over here and started getting rowdy with me, can put her on her back because I don't know you I don't owe you no love no respect you come with respect and you will get respect you try and come with me in any kind of funny way I can put you on your back that's just the way that I see it that way you know what I mean if someone's being violent to you <coughs> with no no love reason you understand like I just explained the other two explanations nah man can't be doing that so off that alone you lose respect bruv but You've been losing it anyway, just on the way that you react to, to, to things, you know what I'm saying? The way that you used to talk to Ty and talk to that anyone at AFTV. And again, respect to AFTV, I have to shout them out because they dropped him like a bad habit. Although, obviously, the <laughs> Lord took him away. It's not like it was an option for them, you know what I'm saying? The Lord took him away, but they let it be known that even when you come back out, you come back, you can, you can come back out tomorrow. Yeah, they ain't messing with you no more. You know what I'm saying? I see your football team switching up, letting it be known all new management is going to be in place. I had to put a poll on my Insta. Like, yo, I think you got to change your name. You can't be called DT Football Club. You know what I mean? You can't carry that. You got to switch that up. You got to switch it up to something else. Change it to the name of the area or something, a park bench, something. You got to switch that up. You can't have that. You know what I'm saying? But again, shout out to AFTV. I'm not the biggest fan of them, you know what I'm saying? If you lot watch my channel or you watch anything that I do on Instagram or anything like that, you know, I ride with Arsenal, you know what I'm saying? They're going to have to do something disgusting for me to turn on them, you know what I mean? Transfers, losing games, the kind of stuff there, they ain't going to get me to turn on my team, yeah. I shout at the TV with the best of them, you know what I'm saying? If and when I can afford to go to a game, I shout. But I don't abuse, especially when I'm at a game, I don't abuse, you know what I mean? And man out there doing their thing, they're doing something that they love, that's their passion, and they get paid very well for it, but that don't mean nothing. Money doesn't mean anything, you know what I mean? It don't mean that you get to abuse them. One of the biggest things, it never happened for, for my club, but one of the biggest things that I found so disrespectful, I think it was, it was Chelsea, I'm not sure if it was Terry or if it was Lampard, but one of their mothers like, was suffering with cancer and people were sending for that. I was like, that's disgusting, and that's your fans, that's disgusting, bruv. That's disgusting, I could never have that. You know what I mean? So I don't take no negativity. That's why I don't really care for AFTV. When we win, I'll pass through, I click on something, you get me? But not even then, mostly I don't. The only time I really see anything to do related to AFTV is via um, TalkSport. 
which they hate on us anyway, but I, like, I hardly watch anything that they got to say about Arsenal unless we've won and then you can just clearly see it's hate. If we do something wrong, like red cards and all them things, I still don't even watch them because they're only just going to double down on their hate, you know what I'm saying? But only time I catch anything really that is anything to do with AFTV is Troops and that's when Troops is on expressions um, on his channel doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't like negativity against my team. But I can't even follow Troops because sometimes he wild out too much, you know what I'm saying? And I know they all got passion, they all spend money on the club and everything, but it, I just don't, I, I'm not feeling that, I'm not feeling that. You're meant to be a supporter, but like I always say, there's a difference between supporters and fans. I find that they're fans, you know what I'm saying? They probably, they can drop, drop you bare details, bare facts about the club, but I don't care for that, you know what I'm saying? I could, I, I've got a couple of golden nuggets in my brain that I could drop myself, you know what I mean? But that don't mean nothing, you know what I'm saying? I spend, I spend money on Arsenal. Don't mean I get to abuse them, you know what I'm saying? I support, I'm a supporter, you get me? I always say, the day that the club was founded, where were the supporters then? Where were the fans then? There was no one, it was just the people who wanted to build the club. So there's a club before everything, you know what I'm saying? Before players, before management, and before the supporters and fans. Clubs first, you get me? I don't even want to get into nothing about standing and the owners and that, they own it, that's their business, you get me, simple as that, but back to the matter of fact is, DT, you done slipped and bumped your head, rude boy, it's over now, 112, it's over now, you get me, so I just wanted to say that, you get me, because I did have, I did shout him out on my first video, for like, yeah, alright, you're one, of the, you're one of them ones, one of the fans that are loud and proud, you know what I'm saying, so, you get me? Man's got it inked on his neck and all sorts. You know what I'm saying? He loves to bring up his dad and granddad. Everyone used to go to the game and season ticket holders and all that. None of that matters now, boy. You fucked up. You fucked up big time. You cannot respect none of the stuff that you were accused of. None of it. You know what I'm saying? And also, in the eye court, if I am not, if I am correct, he said assault was on there as well against the the misses or the ex misses, however you want to put it cannot respect that in one piece like I said there's there's levels to it you know what I'm saying I'm not one for oh you should have just held her restrained her no that leaves marks that leaves worse worse marks to make it sound even worse you know what I'm saying he could have held her down and, and done what to her she could say anything you don't want to put marks on no woman you know what I'm saying but boom put someone down it's a defense you get me you don't, have to hold, don't hold on to no one bear hugs none of that shit but from when you put hands on the guy and you put hands on her, yeah man, you lost it right there. It's a sad day, you know what I'm saying? It's a sad day, because they're gonna put this on Arsenal. It'll be all over the place. It'll be like, Arsenal fan this, Arsenal fan that, you know what I mean? So you put shame on us there, but hey, what can you do? Ain't really shame, really. Anyone could buy an Arsenal shirt and do something stupid, you know what I mean? So that is that. I just wanted to say that, people, you know what I mean? Shout out to all my gooners, my goonerettes and my gooner babies. You know what I mean? More videos coming soon. We've got to talk about how they're trying to blame us for postponement, even though it's our first one. It's embarrassing, man. It's embarrassing. As in, everyone is embarrassing. Shout out to the few people who have eyes have started to open now. You get me? Even though they're still trying to, it's still trying to pull it on us about, oh, this is not about Arsenal, yet you keep banging on. Now you're banging on. You weren't banging on when it was other clubs, but hey, that's a whole nother video. You know what I mean? Don't forget to subscribe like share you know what i'm saying hit me on instagram hit me on facebook and don't forget make sure you subscribe to this channel guys we are building around here and i want to talk to some more gooners man all right i'm out of here stay blessed stay good oh gooner on the sofa proud of north london gotta represent and i'ma tell you one thing watching games live always brings me closer but i would rather watch at home on my sofa yeah yeah chance is the name football is the game gooners all day you know that it won't change so stay tuned in cause the party's never over get it hype this is gooner on the sofa